Hello everyone, thank you for coming by the page and today I want to show you the value of learning songs with MIDI files. A huge advantage of learning songs with MIDI files is the ability to slow down the song to any tempo that you desire. So I want to show you an easy way that you can do this. So the first thing that you'll want to do is download the program Synthesia at www.synthesiagame.com and this is the program that I've been using to upload my videos of showing how to play these songs so once you come to synthesiagame.com you can do a free download and then once you're finished doing your download um, any MIDI file that you have I'm using a Mac right now but it should be the same for Windows you'll just right click on your MIDI file go to open with click synthesia and then they'll come up you could choose which which one you want to go to but I will show you if you click on watch and listen only then it takes you to the song so this is going to have it at the original pace but you can slow it down to any tempo that you want and that makes it really really easy to learn the song when it's a lot slower and you can speed it up as well <laughs> All right. So that will really, I think, help a lot with learning songs. So for everyone that wants to know how to access my MIDI files, it's very simple. It'll take you less than a minute. The first thing I ask for you to do is come to my YouTube page at youtube.com slash mightyjoew and click subscribe. I'm doing these. I spend a lot of time learning the songs. Uh, I put a lot into these and I don't put any ads on it. I don't monetize or anything so that you don't have to sit through advertisements. And um, I'm not charging for any of the MIDI files that I do. So I'm making absolutely nothing off of these, but I do it for the love. And I do it because I want to help other people. So the least I, I do is I do ask for a subscribe. So once you do subscribe, email me at the mighty Joe W at gmail.com let me know that you subscribed and what account that you subscribe with and once you've done that then I will give you access to my MIDI folders which will have all of my MIDI files on my on my website so these are the files that I have so far so yes just click subscribe email me let me know that you subscribed and what account you subscribe with I'll instantly give you access then you'll be able to download any MIDI file that I come up with forever so that is quick, it's easy, and another thing about um, MIDI files is that they work with any digital audio software. So if you if you're using anything such as Pro Tools, Logic Pro, GarageBand, FL Studio, Reason, any of those, it'll open up in there as well. So let me show you what that would look like. So I'm gonna open this with Logic Pro. So what I like about opening MIDI files in a digital audio workstation, any kind of music software, is that you can, and th again, this is Logic Pro, you can see the notes, you can see which keys they are, and you can also change any note that you want to change. So if you wanted to add to it, um, adjust it your way in any kind of way, you can do that with these programs. And Logic Pro also has a score which shows you the notes on sheet music and this is something that I haven't spent much time with but once I get this figured out then I'll start making the sheet music available so there's there's so much that you can do and then obviously you can take it to the next level if you wanted to add more instruments and add bass and strings and turn it into your own you can do that with uh, the, these music software programs so so much you can do with MIDI is extremely helpful and a great great way to learn how to play piano um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts, please leave the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks again for coming by the page.